Hello everyone, for this lesson we are going to see how to achieve the effect of the cut on the half of the hair for the shape as if I had something here that make these two hairs over here, these two guides to come along the other way around over here and how to achieve that this hair here does not have that hard interpolation but to achieve a great result having the right division on the hair. For that we will use region maps. So this lesson is going to be a first step into the artisan tools with uh, Maya and Action. First you always have to have the project set to the right side that you're using or the right folder that you're using for Exxon as it's going to create a texture for it and you're going to need to have that texture on the path uh, because it's going to read everything. If you move the texture, if you move your file, it's going to look for that texture and you can lose the detail for the file and the image. Remember that Exxon save as PTEX and that's only workable from Moodbox or Maya and also save a TIFF file that it's the one that you see on the viewport. It's not working as uh, information from Exxon, but it's working just for the artisan tool for you to see. I'm going to explain that a, bit, a little bit better here. So I have a map, I have my, my pad working. Let's say it's something like this, a little bit better there. And I want to have that pad there with a better shape and with no interpolation. So I have to come here where it says region control and region mask. And here on the mask, I can create the mask or I can create the region map here. So let's click on paint and it's going to give you the red color. For region maps, it's recommend that to paint only with the colors that you can actually achieve with one click that are the uh, pure colors. So red, it's there, and I'm going to paint with yellow here. And I'm going to paint half where I want my division to be. It's going to be a, not a perfect painting, but I'm, I'm going to have some right noise uh, with movement on the painting style. This is going to achieve a nice result. Just try to look for the path where you see the, the sphere that it's working and paint all the side that you want to achieve. This is going to say to Exxon that I want to influence just this part and the guides that are here are just influencing the part that is painting. So the guides that are on the red are going to influence the red part and the guides that are on the yellow part are going to influence only the yellow part. And we have two layers here. These artisan tools, uh, the, the Maya artisan tools, are going to give me a TIFF file. So when I click Save Textures here, you're going to see here that I'm saving a TIFF file. That one is the one that is working for the artisan tools that you're going to see here on Textures. Why did I save it? Because we need to save that one first. If not, if we do not save, the next time that you open Maya and Exxon, you are not going to be able to paint again that map. So you need to paint this part. And I can see a red spot there that I think that I'm missing some part. Yeah, so let's click again, save. And you can see that everything is fixed here. But this is just the TIFF file. I have no right influence let's save again on the exit file if you see here and I click uh, calculate it's not going to influence anything I need to save it here first and that's going to save me a ptex file that it's going to be there on the folder let me show you let me see where my project is and this is pattern this is action and here on images on uh, Exxon, let me see, source images is going to have 3D paint texture that is going to have the ptex, no, the tiff, the if file. That's for the artisan tool. 
and on exit you can see here connectivity region this is the region map that we just created it has the name of the model and has the ptex information that we just saved if we click here it's not going to have any influence but if we put the influence of the mask to a level of one you can see how let's move that away now where i put my lines it's getting the achievement of the cut on the influence so now i do have a value i saved it so i can change everything and everything is working as it should and also you need to be sure that if you're working with the artisan tools you need to have the basic number 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 one applied to the model if you do not have the number number one it's not going to give you the possibility to paint so you need to have the number number one you need to save the artisan tools first and after that save the region maps or the maps that you're painting so maya can have the information for your connectivity and the next time that you open maya it's going to have everything on place and remember to always have the uh, connection put on the file and the project set thank you for following the second lesson and see you on the next one